Hi, welcome to Sunday School. I'm Brother Murkett. Today's reading for uh, the Sunday School lesson is 3rd Nephi chapters 8 through 11. Um, this is an exciting time in uh, the Book of Mormon uh, when Christ returns um, and there's so much that he teaches and, and, and so much important things going on. Obviously, we don't have time for, for all of that, but there's one thing in particular um, that I'd really kind of like to, to focus on. Um, in uh, 3 Nephi chapter 9, verses 19 through 22, um, I'll, I'd like to read that. And ye shall offer up unto me no more the shedding of blood. Yea, your sacrifices and your burnt offerings shall be done away. For I will accept none of your sacrifices and your burnt offerings. And ye shall offer for a sacrifice unto me a broken heart and a contrite spirit. And whoso cometh unto me with a broken heart and a contrite spirit, him will I baptize with fire and with the Holy Ghost, even as the Lamanites, because of their faith in me at the time of their conversion, were baptized with fire and with the Holy Ghost, and they knew it not. Behold, I have come unto the world to bring redemption unto the world, to save the world from sin. Therefore, whoso repenteth and cometh unto me as a little child, him will I receive. For of such is the kingdom of God. For such I have laid down my life and have taken it up again. Therefore, repent and come unto me, ye ends of the earth, and be saved. Um, so the phrase... A broken heart and a contrite spirit he uses a couple of times there. Um, instead of the sacrifice of uh, the, uh, the, the, the sheep without blemish, which represented uh, Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ's um, crucifixion and his, his rising from the dead, uh, that is done away with. And what the Lord wants is a sacrifice now is a broken heart and a contrite spirit. Um, I used to be a little confused about that idea. Um, when I thought of broken heart, I thought of how I felt as a 16 year old when the girl I had a crush on uh, didn't reciprocate and uh, I was broken hearted. And I, could, I didn't understand how that related to um, our Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ. Um, and a few years ago, I had a, um, a thought come to my mind uh, about a different uh, definition of broken. Um, I grew up a city boy. I don't know much about horses, but I know that you break horses. And uh, so I did some research and, and, and looked into um, how you break a horse and what it means for a horse to be broken. Um, and uh, when you break a horse, what you, what you do is you train it. So if you think of a broken heart as a trained heart, uh, I, I think that's um, a little more accurate to what Christ wants from us. Um, and I, I was reading about how you break a horse. And the first thing uh, it said and what I read was that you gain the trust of the horse so if our hearts are broken the first thing is that we trust in the Lord um, when when we have when he has gained when we have gained his trust we um, we trust that he loves us uh, the horses understand um, when they're being broken, that they're being trained, and it's for their own good. Uh, a horse that isn't broken uh, is wild, and, he, and when he's in the, uh, the, um, the corral, uh, a, a horse that is not broken can easily um, run up against the, the fences, can injure himself, uh, but a broken horse understands and he trusts his master, and um, that makes the horse safer. Um, the, uh, the horse recognizes the voice of his trainer. 
and he uh, listens to it, he trusts it. Um, and if you are training a horse, um, you don't dump everything on the horse all at once. Um, you teach them a little bit and then build on that and a little bit more, uh, which sounds a lot like in the Book of Mormon, line upon line, precept upon precept. Um, so if we think of a broken heart as a trained heart, a heart that's been trained to love and respond to uh, Jesus Christ, um, I, I think we can see that differently. And contrite heart. Contrite is kind of a strange word, too. It's not a word that we use in everyday conversation. Uh, so again, I looked it up. I like to look up definitions and, and the... Um, the meaning of words, the etymology. And, and contrite uh, literally means rub together. And, and in this context, it is um, wearing down. Uh, it's humbling. Humbling to the point of being penitent. Penitent, that was another word I wanted to look up. And penitent is... Um, having uh, uh, recognizing your wrongdoings and having a desire to repent um, humility so what Jesus wants from us is a broken heart uh, a trained heart a heart that listens to him and a contrite spirit a humble spirit uh, so that we will do what he asks us to do uh, and, and follow his voice. Um, I bear my testimony that God loves us uh, and he has given us uh, a savior, Jesus Christ, to follow so that we can come back and live with him. And I say this in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen.